Play Jack game. versus Rich, because... Okay. No, I'll lose. Rich, clearly. I'll lose. I'm gonna, you know what I'm going to play? Ugh. I'm gonna play some. I'm gonna play some Metroid. I'm rusty, and Rich is like a current. You, you can you can you can respond to any Gotham comments that come up now. <laughs> they said Gotham is the worst. Why particularly? Okay. Well, this one says because it has too much Bruce Wayne in it. Oh. I, I figured if people didn't like it, it was because it had it was too much about uh, Gordon. Gordon. Well, respond to that. <laughs> Do you think there's too much Bruce Wayne? No, I mean, he. I guess he... Does he even show up in every single episode? Was he even in the last one? I think he's in a little... I didn't see the last, last one, but I think he's in, in every episode at least a little bit. I thought you were going to lose the chat for a second while I update the stream. Okay. See, see, I'm okay with Bruce Wayne being in it a lot because it's not an age we've seen a lot of Bruce Wayne. Like, the, 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 the months year right after the murder. Yeah. That's unexplored Bruce Wayne Yeah, usually territory. it's if they explore it, it's in, it's in flashback mode. But but usually it goes like, you go from the death, and then you almost go straight to intense training to be Batman, and then him putting on the costume for the first time. But yeah. But fine. Oh, you're going to hate Spelunker. It oh. is so merciless. I've never played Your, your little guy can't oh, see. Yeah. Your little guy can fall like six inches. It's like he's got that, that osteogenesis imperfecta or something, and his bones just break. Or he's in like some planet where the gravity is like six <laughs> times the gravity on Earth. Yeah, you're going to hate this. Yeah. It it, it it would be a good like, game. You can't fall that high. Yeah. You can't fall that no. high. No. Like, you can't even fall, like, regular people distances. <laughs> this isn't like Mario, you know, gravity where he jumps three times his height. I mean, like, you can't even fall, like, a foot and a half, like a real person could with no problem at all. How do you... There you go. Well, osteoporosis, yeah, but osteogenesis imperfecta, that's that brittle bone thing. Like, really brittle bones. A disease. This this new voice you're hearing is my fiance. This is Karen, the nerd. <laughs> she she says hello. Hi. And she said many times tonight. Ah. Guten Abend. Oh, German. Yeah. Fancy. Buenos tardes. <laughs> oh my God! You can't fall from that height. <laughs> no, exactly. Like I said, I think he's on. A, he's mining on a planet with like. Three times the mass of Earth. I so when he falls, it's like he falls a hundred feet or something. See, Jack. Now this is the reason yeah. I avoided Spelunky for years. Right. Because I thought it was like a take on Spelunker. See, all they need to do is somebody needs to hack this to make it just a little easier, a little more merciful, a little less ridiculously. Oh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have the actual cartridge of this at home. I never played it. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. I've, I've played through a few stages. I mean, you can get to the point, but yeah, it's maddening. Ah, oh, god damn it. Where oh, a, a very young Bruce Let's... Wayne exploring the caves below the mansion. A very young Bruce Wayne with, with brittle bones. This is, oh my Exploring god. caverns on a planet the size of Jupiter. Jupiter. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I can do this. Thank you, Candy Smack. I'm ready for this. I don't think you are, Jack. We're, we're glad to have your approval. <laughs> I can do this, Rich. I have not you, played you Montezuma's say so. Revenge. Oh my god. Oh, that's... Montezuma's Revenge? You know what that is. Well, it's diarrhea, but... <laughs> is there a game by that name? It doesn't involve diarrhea? No, I think they're just trying to be jerks. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, you know, I thought maybe some game designer thought they'd be cute and named their game Montezuma, Montezuma's Revenge after uh, the uh, Tourista. <laughs> I mean, it's, that's also possible. They're very well... I mean, some of those 80s game designers had some pretty good senses of humor. Yeah. Like in uh, Maniac Mansion, where they got that video game called Muff Diver. Yeah, yeah when the when the this. puff of smoke comes out, it's kind of like this. It's like a little tiny volcano or something. I see that. This is a very strange cave. Ah! Oh, god, this game is awful. I got farther. It I would be a time. decent game if oh. it just wasn't so ridiculously hard. I'm ready. I'm I'm in it. I'm you should try Spelunky. Spelunky. Spelunky is like this, fantastic. but not so ridiculous. Yes. Gold Miner Joe. Somebody made a game called Gold Miner Joe. Gold Miner Joe. Go about Miner. Ten years ago, that was a lot of fun. I got this. You guys don't even know how much I have this. It was, it was sort of reminiscent of this, but it was easier, a lot easier. 
and, and more fun and lighthearted. Jack, Jack, stop dying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I knew you weren't gonna like Spelunker. I, hey, I, I don't. I Actually, don't you know what? This he has not expressed. You, you know how yet. you can enjoy Spelunker? What? With the game Genie. The game. <laughs> <laughs> you can set a lot of that stuff. Like infinite lives and stuff. I got this. So you can just die over and over again. I picture this with Mega Man music. How about have you ever played Monster Party? Monster Party, no. You gotta play Monster What's Party. Monster Party. It, it's a cheesy game where you run around and swing a baseball bat at monsters, except when you take a pill and turn into a flying dragon that shoots fireballs. <laughs> And uh, it's got... Is this a game you made up? No. <laughs> it's an NES game from, from way back when. And and it's got great music and great character, great great villains. The villains are all kinds of strange things. A cat that throws baby cats at you. A giant... I'm sorry, what? A giant <laughs> Venus flytrap. A, a rocker that throws musical notes at you. Just all kinds of weird enemies and, and trippy backgrounds. Cloud cities and witches and... It's that's, just fun. That sounds great. It is. If you got the hardware to play it, I've got the cartridge. I can bring it up next time. Or you can emulate it with whatever, if they she, sell it or she's whatever. She's got the real shit. Not, yeah. Not the emulator, not the, not the virtualware. Yeah, I've got the actual cartridges and the actual hardware. And the actual controllers and all that. That's excellent. Yeah. Just NES, I mean, almost all just NES, because that's my favorite system. So what's your goal in this? Uh, I To get know. through and not die. Well, what does getting through involve? You get to the end of the stage, and then I, I don't remember if you get How did you die? or what. Apparently, How is that even a death? Apparently, if you fall into that pit, it's a death. Oh, this is awful. The, the subsequent levels aren't any less terrifying. And yes, I'm Rich's fiancé, and, and yes, I'm, I'm genuine, I'm not... Um, Artificial or an android <laughs> <laughs> or a robot or anything of that nature. My fiance, the real doll. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. <laughs> There's been some speculation that Rich is finding a way to talk over himself, and it's actually an alternate aspect of his personality that's feminine. But uh... no. I'm gonna, I'm yeah. gonna read the manual. I'm not, I'm not that good at throwing my voice. And... That would be kind of awesome. Important Make information. Make the pre-rack of Monster Party after Jack beats it for the first time. Rick's what this is called. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I didn't know if it was pre-recorded, like Jack's supposed to beat it and then show people pictures of it. No, it's called pre-recorded because it's pre pre -re previously recorded because it's flexible. We can do whatever, basically whatever the frick we want. Okay. I'm sorry, did, did you just say frick? Yes. All right. You want me to say fuck? I'll say fun. <laughs> <laughs> Fudge, funk. <laughs> Oxygen. I have an oxygen Oh, yeah. Gauge? See? This is like a game genie oh, kind of effect. Oh, it does. Effect. Number of remaining lives? You definitely want to. Yeah, there's an oxygen gauge. I think he's got, <laughs> maybe he has some underwater parts. Oh, my God. It's been so long since I've played this. I mean, I, I did get through a fair amount of it when I was really bored once, but. <laughs> it was players to scare away bats. quite a few years ago now. Press up and B, bum. I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> you see do you hear this guys there's some crazy shit that's happening here they're saying they love each other and shit what kind, of, what kind of bullshit is that Aww. <laughs> okay if they want us to hate each other they want to hear blows it's more it's more funny if you fight okay if they think you're fighting you don't actually have to fight you can just pretend <laughs> Don't you, you you gotta abuse me if I abuse you. That's just terrible. <laughs> that makes me oh, a yeah. monster. <laughs> that just makes me a monster. <laughs> ah, what? You're trying to make me look like a wife beater. <laughs> so did you do the live sheet? No, oh, that was that was just the manual. There's no cheat. Oh, there's no. That that would have been nice if there were. I would have been. Like a built acknowledging in, the problems. The built-in cheats. No, no, I was just, I was just reading the manual. I was seeing if there was any story. <laughs> Apparently I don't think not. there is a story. I think it was originally an arcade game, and then it was ported. Mm -hmm. I hope that the arcade game wasn't so ridiculous. Although maybe they just wanted it to eat borders, but it just doesn't seem like it has enough fun to hook you. Right. 
Ah, uh, I mean, it's I'm like kind of you'd have to it. use like fifty dollars and quarters just to get used to the controls. Play something less stupid. While this game sucks. <laughs> Quiet you. <laughs> it's a neat concept. I mean, when I when I saw the box originally, it was like, oh, you know, you get to play. I love caves. You know, I mean, real caves. It's like, oh, you know, you can go and explore caves and and dig rocks and geology. But no, <laughs> we, we we might not be able to do it on the stream because I don't know if the laptop can play it or if we can stream it that way. But we're gonna show you Spelunky. Okay. You really gotta look up. Uh, um, uh, the monster party one, though. Okay. It's just, it's, it's really ah. cute. The S enemies are really fun. Splunky sounds like the game you wanted to play when you saw this, which is, I'm assuming, was the, the genesis for somebody making Splunky. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like that one game you have with, uh, that's ghouls and goblins, but it's easier and more fun. It's, I think it was for the, what was the game you were playing? It when, was for when? the, it, it was for, I think it was for the cube. Where, where, where the guy, when, when you do bad, he'd be running around in his boxers for a while. Maximal? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So yeah. it's kind of like, it is to Spelunky. Spelunker. <laughs> Spelunky is to Spelunker as Maximo is to Ghouls and Goblins. Or ghouls Maximo, or Maximo is still plenty hard. It's not as hard as uh, Ghosts and Goblins, so, but... Okay. Well, no, Spelunky's not even 3D. Spelunky's 2D. So it's Gold Miner Joe. I'll have to look that up, too. There you go. There's, there's a Goldminer Joe was part of that whole big push of, of casual games some years back. When I, I don't know why they didn't just port all of them straight over to tablets, because most of them would work just fine. Oh my God, there's a minecart. Like all of Pop Caps, ga Pop Caps games ought to be available for the tablet. If that's the greatest game ever, you live in a sad, <laughs> sad universe. I do. Also, you live in 1984. I do live in a sad universe. There's three, sad I don't know. Universe. The year before Mario came out, for sure. Did I get the money? You know, Donkey Kong Mario could not fall that far. Yeah. Oh my god, there's a ghost! Mario started to have, like, ridiculous gravity and stuff, and they just went, no, you fell too far. There's a bat! Yeah, there's a Who bat. Who shits on you? Yeah. It's... Oh my god, the bat's shitting on me! Yeah, his, his guano is, like, acid or something. Oh my god, he has acid shit. This is the greatest game ever! <laughs> they they should have Chad. named this game 99 Ways to Die. I don't understand Chad. He's, he's praising no what's going on. Why is he doing that, Karen? I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe... Broderbund is paying him. Gonna break his brain. Could have. What? He what? is the spelunker. I, my brain is fine. I'm just, you know what I'm doing? Join a retro classic title. It's all retro and I shit. Think the goal is for him to get gold or some gold or something. Now, doesn't that make him like a gold miner and not a spelunker? Ooh. I well, I, I think it's just like getting. I think just getting to the end is your. Is your goal? Yeah, not dying. No, just why, not dying. Why go through all these nooks to get the cool then? Just run straight towards an exit. Where's an exit? How do you find an exit? Uh, I want go the back. Go back the way you came in. <laughs> I want the high score, Rich. Safer bet. You know what? It'd be great if that were like a secret ending. If you go back up, you win the game. <laughs> <laughs> you got oh out of the mine. Do you think we can do that? No, I don't. But that'd oh, yeah, be great. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what, you know what game is great? Huh. Elevator action. Elevator action. Oh yeah. Is yeah, a a little capsaicin will do is that, that. Is that available on the Wii? Uncontrollably. The uh, WiiWare, Wii Ness, Wear Ness? I don't know. I've, oh. I've honestly never looked into it. For okay. what? Elevator action. Oh, that's a good game. Oh, yeah, very good. There's some clones of that for the uh, tablet. Really? Well, the tablet. I can't imagine a game with my controlling wall on a tablet. How do, you, how do you do that with a touch? Is it especially responsive or what? I don't know. I downloaded it because it was a free app of the day, and I thought you might like it, but I didn't actually play it or install it. What's What's my opinion on Infinite Crisis on Secret Wars? I, I think Marvel's now making the exact same mistakes that DC used to make. Yay. So goodbye, goodbye Marvel. Uh, goodbye continuity. I've always always loved Marvel's tight continuity, even though in recent years it's kind of been eroded away anyway. But this is like the final death toll to Marvel and continuity, so none of it matters anymore. Yay! I'm glad I got out of comics when I did. 
It doesn't matter anymore. Oh, shit, the ghost. The ghost. Shit. 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 This is, I mean, Spelunky definitely came from this game. Oh, yeah. And I love that. Proto Spelunky. See, I can tell by looking at Spelunky, which is why I avoided Spelunky. Right. Well, I, I wasn't better. asked. There's no picture of my head there, but mm -hmm. I like Saga, non-superhero comics, and trees. Oh, yeah, talk about this. You've been, you care? My, my fiancé. Oh, my God. <laughs> my fiancé has, has, we've, we've switched places. Uh, we, we, we went to the comic Not books. exactly. We've kind of. Uh, we went to the, the comic book store a few weeks ago, whatever that was. And normally, like years ago, it used to be we'd go to the comic book store and she'd like wait in the car or hang around and wait for me to finish and then we'd go home. Mm -hmm. And we went to the comic book store and she was browsing around the comic book store and I was just kind of waiting around for her to be finished so we can go home. So you, you have discovered comics recently. Talk about it. Well, I've, I've been reading Saga. I've, I've read all the current Saga, the first 24 issues. What is Saga? Saga is... Um, it, it's a, sto a story about a little... Well, the, the, the protagonist who, who is a the occasional narrator is, is this girl named Hazel. And it's about her parents who are from opposite sides of these two warring planets, planet and the moon... And, her, and she's so she's kind of like biracial or bi species, so they're, they're and both like sides want to kill aliens. her because their these sides are at war. They're species. Yeah. The, like the father's like a goat man or something, right? And the yeah, like well, the the, the, the people from the from the moon are they have horns, <laughs> and the people from the planet have uh, wings. And okay. so and she, has has she has horns and wings. She has horns and wings. That's little, the... little tiny nubs and little. Why tiny... wouldn't you want that? Well, okay. because these people are in love. No, well, I'm saying, like, why wouldn't you want to have both horns oh, and yeah, wings? I know. That I, seems I, like a really practical and a tail. thing to have. Horns, wings, and a tail. There you go. I mean, you know, he She's the ultimate weapon. Accessories. She doesn't have a tail. I mean, I, I just, you know. In your mind, she has a tail? No, I, 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 you said, you know, what more could you want? And I said, well, you know, you could want, you could want for a tail. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, okay. For the whole set. But, uh, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's, it's, it's a great, really great story. Really great aliens. Really great family dynamics and this that and the other jay sounds like a girl yeah jay jay had a hormone to play no. but they, they, I'm not jay. they want this little half-breed baby dead or something yeah right? both sides because she's like kind of a, a symbol to them of of people they want everybody on this side to hate everybody on that side and these okay. two got together and so yeah because she represents hope or they something. don't like hope yeah but no it's, it's really it's well it's well written it's it's for adults not kids but i mean it's not written written by anything. well at least not written by um brian k vaughn the guy who did uh why the last man and uh fiona staples is it i think is the artist this i don't know oh, yeah fiona i think it's fiona staples i, I like that i like trees um not, I mean, yeah, the things that grow on the ground are all nice, but it's a, a story. <laughs> it's a book a, called Yeah, it's, it's, well, it's a, 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 running, a comic book that's currently running that uh, these things, these, these large columnar things. City size. City sized, city -sized right? things just drop onto the planet and they're there for years and they don't communicate with the people and it's just kind of. Columnar. It, it's, yeah. What's columnar? Like they're columns, they're, 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 they're cylindrical. She's, and really tall. You say words. She, she's vocabularious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you say words, and I know they mean stuff, and it, <laughs> and it makes my head. Sorry. And, uh, yeah. But, but, and then these things start waking up and doing stuff. So it's, I, I don't know exactly what all they're going to do yet because Columnar. it's unfolding kind of slowly. Columnar is a real word? Column like. That's great. I believe it's a word. I think that's great. <laughs> I think you learn something new every day. <laughs> Just by being around me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess what I'm saying is... Today's you... word word of the day was brought to you by the letter E, the word columnar, and the color yellow. You make us all smarter. <laughs> so congratulations. Wait, wait, wait. You're going with columnar, and then the color is just yellow. Not like teal or burgundy i thought i was being generous i don't even like yellow our, our tiny brains can only handle so much information rich i'm surprised yellow color is chartreuse what else have you been reading because i know you've been reading other things well, so I'm just i, I read the first it. issue of squirrel girl which was awesome really cute she kind of runs around singing the spider-man song and i like miss marvel the the uh the reboot 
Yeah, the one with the uh, teenage uh, Pakistani American. I think she's Pakistani, maybe Iranian American uh, well, she, girl. She has different powers in this one, right? What's her powers? Um, she can like shape change. Like she can make herself get bigger or smaller, or her hands get stretchy or whatever. And okay. she can also heal herself, but she can't do both at the same time. Okay. And it, it's it's. I've only read the first six issues. I know there are more, mm -hmm. but uh, I've just read what's the what's in the graphic novel, and then the, there's an issue up on Marvel Unlimited. And are you sixth. are you more of a of a paper comic reader, or do you read on your e device? I'm more of an e device reader. What do you what uh, app do you use to read? I like Comixology. Comixology. Although I do have uh, I have a subscription that I, uh, that I may end up canceling to Marvel Unlimited. Mm -hmm. It's Carvel Element is really clunky to use. But I gotta finish reading all the Hawkeyes first. I'm really enjoying <laughs> Hawkeye. <laughs> And I read. I like to read. I like the Marvel Unlimited because I can just read silly stuff that I otherwise wouldn't mm -hmm. ever really spend money on, like the Lockjaw, the Pet Avengers, and stuff like that. Sure. And that and the uh, the uh, Deadpool Illustrated. <laughs> what What was your reaction when you started reading the the backstory to Hawkeye and everything that has happened to Hawkeye? I I just I wanted to know what a little bit about his backstory, so I just looked him up on Wikipedia. And it looks like he's died several times, gone blind and or deaf and or possibly paralyzed. I really can't keep it straight. More than once. And and, and, and it's just crazy how many times they, they just kill these characters and put them back together. And, and yeah. I mean, because what I like about the Hawkeye stuff is that he's not using superpowers. He's just this kind of a bumbling idiot half the time who's in over his head who's trying to take on like this russian mafia and he means well but i mean like in every 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 issue he's got more bandages on him than the last issue and he's got so many concussions he's probably got brain damage that sounds and great it does and it is and it's fun and like and they do a lot of creative silly stuff like like one of the issues is told entirely from the point of view of the dog and it's all with like these pictograms instead of words but but yeah it looks like he's had some He's, he, he's had a rough life. He's, had, he's, been, he's been ill done by in the past by, by Marvel. And then resurrected so that they could torture him some more. I think that's great. And I know you're loving Batman 66. Yeah, I love I love that. I always liked the TV show. The, this kind of sweet, innocent, a less dark Batman. I know people like their dark Batman. And, and you know, it's probably more realistic and gritty, but... Sometimes I just like something fun and lighthearted where I know he's, he's you know, he had, I'm sure he had a rough childhood, but he's he's gone on to turn into an ass-kicking adult and, and, and just, you know, save the world by bedtime or something, you know. I, I don't know why anybody still lives in Gotham when it's like uh, the city of Townsville, you know, like something bad happens every four seconds. You'd think everybody would leave the town. The, the one, the one Crime rate must be staggering. The one I'd avoid is Metropolis. You could not pay me to live in Metropolis. Yeah. Oh my God. Townsville, Metropolis. I mean, people make lists of the most dangerous cities to live in. Uh, Townsville, <laughs> Metropolis, and Gotham would have to be on it if they were real cities. Like, do you think, do you think, like, the price of a condo in downtown Metropolis is like a hundred bucks? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Like, like it's brand new, freshly built. Uh, but it's it's expected life is like right. three weeks. And, and it's built it's built like a like a military grade bomb shelter. <laughs> it's, it's fourteen stories underground. It's made out of solid uh, concrete. Like someone doesn't know about the whole Superman thing. They're like, wow, I can't believe this whole building is brand new. Yeah. It's such an old city. Why why is it so new? Oh, it got destroyed. Right, yeah. <laughs> well, at any moment, a, a man who can, can the planet might fall through your. There are construction um, cranes <laughs> everywhere, all the time. <laughs> it's a great city, though, if you're a construction worker. Yeah. Oh my god, right? <laughs> More overtime this week. <laughs> yeah. Got triple overtime. Yeah. We gotta put the buildings back up. <laughs> the only hard part for them is the commute, because they don't live in the city. They know better. Yeah. <laughs> Scooby Doo team up. I know you read the Scooby Doo team. Oh, I love the Scooby Doo team up. Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo and Batman. Scooby Doo and Can you attack that thing? Sorry. No, I just jumped at it. Scooby, Scooby Doo in the Flintstones world. Scooby Doo in the Jetsons world. It makes a lot of little nods to Scooby stuff and Flintstone stuff, and it's just cute and fun. There's an episode where where the where the uh, Scarecrow comes in and kind of takes out the humans, and 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 Scooby and the Bat Hound take take over the whole issue and it's just great. 
Ace the Bat Hound. Ace the Bat Hound and Scooby Doo save the day. He, he doesn't get many appearances these days. No, no. <laughs> I, I, I fully expect that. Uh, oh shoot, what's his name? Not, is it Cosmo? What's Superman's dog's name? Crypto. Crypto. I, I fully <laughs> expect that he. Thank you. That he will That's show up for. in there somewhere. That there will be an issue with Crypto and Scooby Doo. Because they've already had Astro and Scooby Doo and Ace the Bat Hound and Scooby Doo. And Dino and Scooby Doo. You know, if Crypto felt like humping your leg, there's nothing you could do to stop <laughs> No, there isn't. You would have a hole in your leg. <laughs> yeah. I thought my dog was bad. Jesus. I mean, you're right. <laughs> well, I, I've heard all kinds of things about, like, what, you know, the logistics of what would happen if if he even has anatomy remotely resembling a human, all the, all the ways he could kill Lois Lane. <laughs> <laughs> just by trying to be intimate with her, and it's, you know, yeah. Didn't, didn't somebody do a bit where Lois sees like Superman for the first time? She says, "Why does it have spikes?" Yeah, what's that? She's 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 oh. looking. She goes, "What's that?" And he goes, "Uh, my penis." And and she goes, "Why does it have pictures?" And he's like, "Um, to grab you with." <laughs> what was that from? It's some kind of web comic. A friend of mine sent it to me, so I sent it to you. But yeah. Figured out this whole rope and ladder situation. Good work, Jack. Good work. Do you notice how I'm making it a little bit farther? Yes, I do. I, I actually do. <laughs> There's also a story somebody sent me where Superman, Lois comes over to his house, and Superman, his house is like 100 degrees and filled with rotted meat because that's like how his species is comfortable. And he says he doesn't even, he's not attracted to human females. In fact, he's not even sure if he's the male or female of his species. Or if his, <laughs> his species has males and females. I, I'd like to see. I think people really ought to play play up the alien aspect of him more often. He's often he seems like he's played off as like the the all American uh, mm -hmm. poster child for assimilation, which which can be all well and good. But he's also a, a freaky weird alien. <laughs> you would have you would probably have loved the Tim Burton Superman that never got made. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm generally a fan of, of, of Tim Burton. There's an Edward Scissorhands uh, comic book out now. <laughs> what? There is. Tell me when there's a Beetlejuice one. Uh, there might have already been one for all I know. I'd have to look it up. I would read that. I would totally read that. I love Beetlejuice. Both the cartoon from the 90s. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I remember. Mm -hmm. You ever see the one with, with uh, where it's all references to Edgar Allan Poe stories? No. Oh, it's good. <laughs> I've seen the Powerpuff Girls where everything was a reference to the Beatles. Oh, I haven't seen that. Yeah, yeah. There's a super villain team that called themselves the Beatles. And just every line in that episode, they're working in a Beatles reference. Oh, jeez. Well, there's an episode of the Jetsons where that's like a Beatles reference in the way out. <laughs> and their heads are like yeah, slinkies or something. <laughs> Beetlejuice has any yes game. Never played it. Might be good. I'm just kidding myself. I don't deserve that run. I killed myself too early. So what other nerdy things can we talk about? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've gone from, from Powerpuff Girls to comic books to sci-fi shows. You're covering the whole gamut. <laughs> I think it's great. I think it's great. What's the best Trek show? Oh, What's the, the original. Best, the best Enterprise? The first one. The movie one or the TV show one? The original TV show one. Really? The best Enterprise? Yeah, I guess I'm just nostalgic for it. Okay. I, I gotta go with the movie one. And uh, why do you say that? I just it, it's it's exactly like the TV show one, only just much nicer and better designed all around. Well, they had more money. Yeah, oh, sure. But that that I think is the most beautiful enterprise. Okay. You, you can use the restaurant. I won't delay you any longer. Oh yeah, tell everybody. <laughs> everybody poops. I don't need to poop. I need to pee. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, the ugliest. Jack, what is the ugliest Enterprise? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Uh, the ugliest Enterprise. Because I've been thinking about this lately because I want to build that damn model mm -hmm. so much. I've been thinking about just Enterprises. You know, uh, it's probably um, Enterprises. Enterprise. The NX? Yeah. I'm, I'm torn. It's either the NX or it's the fucking E. I, th I think everything about the E is just kind of disgusting. What's the E? The, the, the next gen movie ship oh sure that thing looks like garbage 
How do you get rid of the ghost? I have no idea. I'm going to try to do this. Nope, he's still there. Um, I'm going to try to run away. Is the ghost just like a fuck you? Yeah, the go well, the ghost comes after so many minutes, but so I'm going to... Just like with Spelunky, I think yeah. I can like... Yeah, hurt him. Not, yeah, hurt him. H-E-R-D? The chat, someone in the chat thinks the C is the ugliest? Oh, C is up there. Or I just have to die, apparently. How did I get down here? I suppose you don't remember what the C looked like. Not offhand. Someone from yesterday's Enterprise. It was one. It was in one episode. Of what? Of next, next gen. gen. It was the time travel one with Tasha Yar. She yeah. She ended up alternate timeline. Tasha Yar ended up giving her life at the end to go on the Enterprise C to go back in time to die fighting the Romulans so that they wouldn't be war with the Klingon. Yada yada. Oh, I remember that. It, it, design wise it's like halfway between the classic enterprise and the next gen enterprise and it doesn't work hmm? and it doesn't work I mean, the C works I fine. thought you said it was the ugliest no that was the, the E okay the E was the one from the next gen movies the for like first contact on okay I mean those nacelles and the weird elongated primary hole it's just disgusting ooh them nacelles Sexy nacelles. Ooh, ooh, girl, where'd you get them nacelles? <laughs> if, I, if, I had to, if I had to just, just design-wise, which ones I like best? Mm -hmm. Does the refit Enterprise slash the Enterprise A? Mm -hmm. Then I, I might make the C second. I really like the C. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to throw this out there and don't smack me across the mouth. Yeah. But I like that Voyager. Or which do you like better, the, the Enterprise or Millennium Falcon? Enterprise. It's the fucking Enterprise. <laughs> I mean, yeah. The Falcon's cool, but they're... the Enterprise is the fucking Enterprise. No, you know what? They're cool in two very different ways. Oh, sure, sure. It's, one, it's... one is a hot rod, and one is is a is a battleship. You know. If I could only pick one to have as a detailed model in my living room. It would be the Enterprise. And the Enterprise is, is sexy in like a in like a fifties modern kind of Eames chair way. Ooh, well put. Eames chair? Your your references are so intelligent. I, they're they're throwing me for a little. I get that one. Which one is that one? <laughs> like the, the, a furniture designer. Like just think like when you think like fifties modern like plastic furniture. Okay, that's modern, fair. modern looking chairs. But when I say modern, I mean like fifties. Okay. Maybe 40s or 60s, too. I'm not sure exactly what the timeline is. But the, the, the refit slash A, the C, the D, the B, and then uh, the fucking E and the NX dead last. Uh, how, do, how do you feel about the Enterprise from Enterprise? Well, it's supposed to be like... Like a... Like proto enterprise. Yeah, you know it's that the kind of Stoga wagon enterprise. Well, sure, but that doesn't mean it looks good. It How do you feel about it? Doesn't have to. It? It's a fun. It's a. It's a very functional, cobbled together, early prototype kind of a thing. So I, I think it's fine for what it is. Okay. It, it isn't there for looks. It's it's the Model A. You know the Tin Lizzie. It's a little primitive looking. Chat's asking which one the B is. The B was basically, uh... Oh god, I'm drawing a term, damn blank on the name. The, the... Excelsior. The NX basically is the Excelsior. upside down Acura. The motorcycles? I don't know. Mm -hmm. The what? <laughs> For Spelunker, by the way. I want to beat this first level. Okay. Yeah, I, I have faith in you. I figured out what I have to do. I have to get all these keys. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are these band-aids or pills? They're flares. Okay, what's that thing that's going up and down? Is that a drill? What things? The thing looks like a barber pole. That thing on right it's, under where you are. Yeah. That thing right across. Right oh, green. that's that's my oxygen. Those are those are oxygen tanks. You need oxygen down here? Well, if we're in a cave. We're, we're, we're apparently very deep down. Is there an oxygen meter? I don't know. <laughs> Does that help? No, that doesn't help at all. Oh. 
That's all I have. There is. It's at the top. You see where it says Max and there's a purple arrow that's crawling across the top? Is that it? I believe so. Real talk? I have no idea. Chet, you it's made... a shake weight. Yeah, it's uh, a shake weight. It does look like a shake weight. You, you may think that Enterprise B is hideous, but then again, I do rank it just above the E and the NX, which are both hideous. Fucking ghost. Get out of here, ghost. Well, I mean, real battleships are pretty hideous, too. I mean, I, I don't think any, any super carrier ever won a beauty contest, yeah, but, uh, except uh, among their own aficionados. A fictional universe isn't <laughs> obligated to, yeah. to, to be realistic. I suppose movies do care more about aesthetics. That fucking ghost. I need to forego this first treasure. I think I figured... I, I, mean, I don't know what I'm doing. So oxygen meter is the blue arrow. Is the blue Purple arrow. arrow. Purple arrow. Purple arrow. <laughs> 26 lanes wide. How's it go? Two, 26 tons and th four lanes wide. 67 <laughs> tons of American... Whatever it is. American pride. Canyon, Canyon arrow. arrow. Oh, I need to... Oh, motherfuck. Motherfuck, motherfuck, motherfuck. I'm just gonna die. What What don't I like about the E? I don't, I don't like the profile. I, I don't like the elongated hull. I think the nacelles are gaudy and ugly. Mm, I don't like... nacelles be drooping. Anything about the E. It all looks like crap. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Word to your mother. The, the, the refit... Enterprise, though, man, that, that thing is sexy. Mm -hmm. That thing is so sexy. Almost as sexy as you were. <gasps> oh. But not quite. Go. Slightly sexier than Jack. Yeah! <laughs> now we talking. Not gonna touch that. Not gonna touch that. Jack, they hate this game so much they want me to play Pong. What? <laughs> they, they hate this game so much. They want me to we play used to have pong. the actual console. Like our uncle, my uncle gave it to us. Fuck yeah, I've made great. so many of those. Every I think everyone had a pawn. Yeah, I, I back in the day. I can't see how it could abuse you for more than thirty seconds. Although I guess you know when it came out, it was a novelty that you could make stuff on the screen move. What's what's the best trick uniform? Um, the next gen uniforms yeah. from season three on. Yeah. Yeah, when they got rid of the onesies. Um, you know, yeah, the onesies ooh, are kind of either silly. Either that or, like, the Wrath of Khan era uniforms. Those are pretty sweet. The ones from the reboot thing aren't bad. Oh, and the new the new Yeah, I'm not Anderson? sure I like the pattern part, but but other than that... Ooh, that, that Enterprise rank just just above the B. I hate that. That thing looks weird. I'm talking about the uniforms. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm, I, they just made me think of that. I didn't even think to factor in that ship. Oh, Abraham's ship? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought that was pretty nice looking. It was, yeah, it was not the worst. I like the, the first, best, though, even not the second. You're going to lose your, yeah. Wait, wait, you don't like the Wrath of Khan? No, the second Abrams. No, the second oh, Abrams movie. Oh, yeah, that's garbage. It's okay, garbage. nobody does. Any movie where Spock is yelling and beating somebody to death, <laughs> it's probably, you're probably making a mistake. Ooh, you got lucky. You yes, landed I on did. like a little tiny mini ledge or something. I Those accept. are the smallest volcanoes I've ever seen. <laughs> Or geysers or whatever they are. What are the worst Star Trek uniforms? Uh, I mean, the onesies from season one and two of Next Gen were pretty awful. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of hate the the dull gray Next Gen movie ones too, though. Sure. They're so bland. Yeah, very. They were too like modern militaristic. Yeah. Not enough future militaristic. Not enough color. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Though the motion picture uniforms, they're. Not even uniforms. Like, everybody in that movie just... They wear whatever the fuck they want. <laughs> like, Kirk spends half the movie wearing what looks like a tennis outfit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you! Oh, fuck you! I have all three keys. I'm doing this. I am fucking doing this. Well, when we're talking about this... Oh, well, I figure garbage. your life expectancy is probably a few more decades, so you might get there. Best bridge... Not the original. It's too dated at this point. Probably next gen. Okay, I'll go with next gen, but as, I, th I think the original might be my second favorite. I think the bridge from the movies all look bland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then some of the later next gen ones, like the next gen movie bridges and the Voyager bridges, they just look too cluttered, too busy. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. about the Enterprise bridge for from the movie from the Enterprise I, show. You know what? I don't even remember what that bridge looked like. I'm gonna be honest with okay. you. <clears throat> I think I fucked myself with that elevator placement. But we're gonna have to go with it. No! Oh, it's okay. missed the rope. That's okay. Are this... you playing this regular or have you like tweaked it so you've got more life and stuff? No, no, there's no tweaking. That, I was reading, that was just the manual I was reading. Oh. There was no tweak. The, the weird thing with the ropes and the ladders is your guy automatically climbs onto it. So you actually have to like stop hitting the button, stop hitting the direction button when he clings onto the ladder. Really? Yeah. That's weird. It is. Fuck. Oh, I guess. Like, I don't know, think I can count that high. <clears throat> what? They said, has anybody counted how many times Jack has died oh. since he started playing this level? <laughs> <laughs> Just infinity. Story. We'll get one of those little clicker counters. Yep. Click, 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 click. This game is really hard. Oh, it's balls hard. Yeah. I think I've gotten through, like, and it was years ago, like, the first two or th two, maybe three, and then it was like, fuck, I just fuck, said, God, forget it. Fuck, fuck, I can, science I can do it. I don't know. There's a lot of science fiction to go through before you make that determination. Right. The rubber rubber, the rubber robot costume from the day the earth stood still with the legs. Yeah, it gets pass for being a classic movie. <laughs> it gets pass. God, God, fucking, fuck, fuck, God, fucking, fuck. How did you meet me, Karen? Um, you could make up some kind of grand, ooh, amazing story. Do that, and nobody would know any different. Do that. Yeah. You were. You were a rock well, you were cat. I was parasailing. Well, oh, there we go. I, I went and to McDonald's and I and and I was just a little girl and I ordered a Happy Meal and they said, "Well, we're out of boy toys." And I said, "Okay." And they said, "Well, we're out of girl toys too, but we've got this." And I opened up my Happy Meal and there was Rich. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. <laughs> we can say what? that'd be a good story. <laughs> <laughs> so I got him in a Happy Meal. <laughs> <laughs> Rich was the toy inside. With the big nuggets. I mean, kind of love it. Kind of love it. It's a Wii controller. You could probably spike it and it wouldn't feel it. Kind of what? They said you're going to spike your controller in a minute. Oh, no. I'm going to... I got this. I got this. I got this. I got oh, this. Oh, you've been confirmed as a girl toy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the sign, like the images I've seen people posted on Facebook and, 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 and the internet and mm -hmm. whatever. I don't know. Whatever those sites are where it's like, uh, where, sorry, we're out of boy toys. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. McDonald's sign. <laughs> He abducted me from McDonald's when I was a child. Oh, God. I don't even read that crap. <laughs> <laughs> doing it and doing it and doing it. Ah, uh, I represent Queen. She was Rich raised in Brooklyn. Which is a Pokemon, because there's only one. <gasps> he's, <laughs> he's a very a, good point. He's a super rare type. Yeah. I've already got them all. Aww. 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 Is that nerd love or... Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck! <laughs> Your nerd love killed me! <laughs> what is this, Krull? Hmm? There's a movie where love killed the bad guy. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was an obscure nerd reference. I thought it was very appropriate. Yes, it was. I'm sure Nobody someone... Nobody got it. Someone in the chat got it and it's so laughing. It's like a movie better forgot. <laughs> love killed the bad guy. That was that movie. It was like a... It was like blended the line between science fiction and fantasy and... The big powerful weapon that the guy had to get to defeat the bad guy was this like claw spinning thing that he could throw and it had blades and he could control oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then at the end, the the weapon didn't work, but what killed the bad guy was was his love well, for the like, damsel in distress. That's like the gate where he he like his sister gave him the model rocket, oh, yeah. and that's like the symbol of her love. <laughs> that he shoots into the demons. <laughs> You but know. at least that movie had demons and it was a kid's movie. It had an opening to hell. Oh, it had some great little, like, clay monsters and the giant smoking pit in the backyard and the telephone melting. Fuck. and I enjoyed Fuck. it. Yes, I know it's called The Glaive, but they don't even know what the movie was called. Was. So if I just said The Glaive, they just would have been confused. It's true. We would have been. 
I had to describe it. It was necessary. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've never heard of the Glaive. What's a bad movie I secretly like? Uh, the Conan reboot. I can actually appreciate as a Conan movie. Really? Yeah. Hmm. The Gate's a bad movie that I like. Yeah, it's a children's horror movie. Yeah. Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island. There's a bad movie that I love. Mm-hmm. Oh, you love the Scooby-Doo's. Yeah, but most of the movies are unwatchable, even for me. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. Never Ending Story is a cute movie. I mean, it's a Everybody cute Everybody likes it. Everybody likes Never Ending Story. It's, it's, not, it's not really a guilty pleasure movie, though. No, Never it's a classic. Story. It's yeah. like The Princess Bride. Yep. The Never Ending Story. Guilty la, 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 pleasure would be more like, like Lady Hawk. Oh my god, Lady Hawk. Yeah. Everyone loves Lady Hawk. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> How about Labyrinth? You like Labyrinth, Rich? That's not even a guilty pleasure, though. That's, that's kind right. of a culty kind oh, of Oh, I know. I, I, I think I've seen it once, and I was like, yeah, it's fine. God damn it, the ghost fucking it's all right. Dude, fuck the ghost was there, guys. There was nothing I could have done. I dark, dark crystal is overrated. But that that goes hand in hand with labyrinth. Yeah. <clears throat> the Princess Bride is like the best movie ever. Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, my name is Diego Montoya. Don't. You killed my father. Prepare to die. And it's so goofy, but. Man, you're you're into it when he keeps saying that over and over yeah. again, and it's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's about to he's about to die. You think he's bit it, but it, but he just he holds on to that phrase yeah. like his mantra. He just keeps saying it over again, yeah. and over again. Every time he says it, he gets a little bit stronger. I can't think of any movie that's more quotable than that, except possibly Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Oh yeah, Ghostbusters. I told you about my coworker, right? About the cross. Cross dimensional rift. <laughs> no, I said we we we're screwing around with with, with uh, laser lights, and I said don't cross the stream. Oh. And, and and he goes what? And and I said Ghostbusters, and he said I wasn't born. And I'm like you weren't born when Ghostbusters came out. <laughs> well, yes, that's a lot of people these oh. days because we are old. We're elderly. <laughs> I mean, we were young when it came out. It's not like we were 47 or something. I think I think my favorite line in Ghostbusters is, uh, I'm terrified beyond the capacity for rational thought. My favorite line... he just says it deadpan. My favorite line in Ghostbusters is, if somebody asks if you're a god, you say yes. <laughs> but it's... Yeah. It, it's in the top three most quotable movies, that Princess Bride and uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Next game, please. With crying faces. Yeah. Jack has to win yeah. this level. <laughs> Jack is is obsessed. Jack is going to do this, and you will shut the hell up. <laughs> How about that? We are prisoners. You are. <laughs> if only we had an emulator, we could just view save states. No, no, I'm not. I, I wouldn't. Even if we had an emulator, I wouldn't, because I'm doing this. I, I guess well, that's Spelunker's appeal. How long is this stream going to be, Jack? I don't fucking care. How about Six that? hours. How about that? Shrubbery, yes. Nee. Nee. Icky, icky, icky. Yeah, Godfather, a lot of people quote it. I've still never seen it. Eh, yeah. I need to do something about that one of these days. Are there many Godfather quotes? Isn't that like you my little gave friend me an or whatever? No, that's Scarface. Yeah. No, okay. like, isn't it? I made him an offer he can't refuse. Okay, okay. Taxi Driver has some good quotes. Sure. You talking to me? Talking to me, huh? <laughs> huh? You talking to me? Fight Club has a lot of quotes. <laughs> <laughs> I am Jack's incessant quotations. <laughs> I haven't been 
fuck like that since grade school, that line. Oh, God. You know what the original version of that line yeah. was? Yeah, you told me. Well, the, the one they changed it with is worse. Yeah. Yeah. Originally, she says, I want to have your abortion. Yeah. So ah. then they changed it to I. The, the studio begged, don't say that. Say anything up with that. Please anything don't but say that. that. And then they came up with, I haven't been fucked like that since grade school. And they're like, oh, God, go back. Go back <laughs> to the abortion line. Yeah. <laughs> No, you wanted us to change it. We changed it. <laughs> we did what you said. Can't go back now. <laughs> ah! I did it! I did it! I got past the first thing. Oh, <sighs> oh joy. I did it. Well, we're still playing. Well, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want, now it's just I want to see as far how far I can get, but I got past the first thing. All right, good. I got past the first thing. Jack, that is excellent. I, I feel really proud of myself, and I, I you don't know, die. I'm just gonna now we're just gonna see how far I can make it. We need keys to get through there. Yeah. I'm just getting tired of looking at the same piles of rocks. Now I'm just looking at identical sprites <laughs> at different locations. What? Oh, there's like a food dragon or something in there. Yeah, those are like the level markers. Okay. Jack, we're about to stage an intervention. Yeah, do it. How about that? Rich? <laughs> want to pull the plug on or something? No, no, I, I, I can't do that. It might be a game I want to play, and then, you know, I, I can't. Okay. Right. Well, listen. Right now, it's just. Right now, it's it's no death run. You know. Sure. Sure. I will. I will stop as soon as I die. There's your key. There's my key. Well, you die quick enough. Yeah. <laughs> See, oh, Speaking okay, of there which, we, go. we jinxed him. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm not dead. So I'm not. You're dead, I'm, but I'm you're not dead. dead, dead. Right. You haven't exhausted your. What the Whoa, fuck what is the hell that? Is that? A, oh my God! The flare comes back down and kills you. Fuck you. Okay, that was a flare. Why do you shoot a flare? To, to stun the bats. So you've got volcanoes shooting at you at the yeah. same time that there's a flare bouncing off and killing yeah. you. Uh -huh. And a bat who's shitting all over you. Absolutely. It's a great game. I, I, is that, I highly recommend it. Is this that game. How, how Spelunky <laughs> usually works? Spelunker. No, it's spelunking, you know? The, 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 oh, spelunking. The cave, uh, the, the most ca you know, I mean, uh, I've been in Mammoth Cave, and I, I didn't <laughs> see any flares, explosions. or. I don't know. You don't. Apparently I was in the wrong section. You were in the wrong section. <laughs> Alright, well, you know what? Um, we might call that. Yeah, I mean... I'm, I'm, I think I think that was a really... I, I, I won. I'm going to say <laughs> that. I beat Spelunker, which is, I mean, a, a great thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> only 99% left to go. No, no, no. I beat the whole game. Yes, you did. If you if you, you beat that one statue, you beat the, the whole game. game. Just go with it. Awesome. <laughs> Go Jack. But uh, that was really fun playing old NES games, and we should do that again. Okay. Great. Um, hey, everybody, why don't we thank Karen for coming out? I think I think. <laughs> I think um, great. I'm bowing, but you can't see it. Are you Are you done for the night, Jack? Uh yeah, I think so. Okay. I had, a, I had an early day, and so I think I'm gonna be done. That's fine. That's fine. If you had an early day, I understand. Mm -hmm. But uh, thank you for everyone for coming out thank you to all the new subscribers thank you to all the old subscribers and thank everyone else thank you to the future survivors or er, subscribers and the future the survivors the Freudian slip thank, thank you for the warm welcome to Karen <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh see you later I I haven't clicked off yet well you do it whenever you want to no I haven't clicked it yet you haven't clicked okay I know you're gonna wait until an awkward moment to click it and then uh -huh. you're gonna click it you that's know? usually when I do you've probably already done it by now uh -uh, oh, I haven't you still haven't yet. done it <laughs> It's still going. Okay. The stream is still happening. Well, you can, you can, you can, you can keep it happening. We'll, we'll wait. We'll wait. Okay. So the next play.